What's up guys, Sean V here, um, one of my subscribers, one of the few, um, they asked for a tutorial on my reed farm, and we're in my test world, and I'm going to build this for you. First thing, you're going to want to start out with a, this dugout right here, or built like this, um, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high, and seven across. This is the one exactly like I built in my LP world. Um, and it's going to be two deep, or three deep here, and then a wall with two down, and then there's going to be a little thing cut out here. And that'll be where some water goes. So first, you're going to want to put sand or any block. Dirt would work also. Right here, this is where the reeds are going to go. And then we'll place this water here also. And this is where the collection point's going to be. And now, right here, you're going to want to put torches right here. Or you could put any block here, but I think torches looks cool. And um, you're going to want to put sand across here. And break these blocks out. And throw some water here. You only really need one. And then let's get some reeds. Where are the reeds? I probably won't pass them down. Nope. Um, we will. We don't need water anymore. Throw those in here. After all, I want to put sandstone back right here. And down here. And now for the redstone. You're going to want to put pistons right here, a line across here, and these are going to push the um, reeds or the sugar cane as they, after they grow. And now we got to wire it up. So I'm going to grab a pressure plate. Uh, we'll use a wooden one. And we will actually break this block out. Of course, water goes everywhere. Put that there. Slide that up. And this is how this works. You want a redstone right here. Take it from that pressure plate. And um, we go around back here. Okay, we'll cover that up right now. There we go. Whatever. It'll work. Um, and now we need to power these pistons right here. To do that, we're going to make a little incline up here. Throw some redstone on these blocks, which power these pistons. And now, let's see if those work. Might not get them. Yep, all of them. Okay. And now, let's see. Gonna wanna make a. Well, actually, throw a repeater right here so we don't lose the. So that it extends the. or the. how long we can put wire. And, um. Go up to here. Um, let's see, how, what's the best way to do this? We will go right here. Throw some blocks right here. This is probably not going to make it all the way, but... So here's one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. Well, there'll be two more to spare. And now when we walk up to this pressure plate, they all should push. And that is the reed farm, or the sugarcane farm. We'll show it in action. Where? I just went right past it. There we go. Um, Let's say they grow up here, and they'll only be able to grow one high, which isn't that big of a deal, because 
Sugar cane's not that necessary, and it grows pretty quickly. So you just come right here, pushes them all off, and you can put glass right here. Actually, do not put glass panes because it'll get caught right on. Of course, hold on. Um, right here. If you do that, it will push them onto there, which kind of gets annoying. So you can use glass blocks to block that off. And not sure you can is taking that. Okay. And that is the sugarcane farm. So thanks for watching, guys. Beautiful sunset. Perfect ending. Into the horizon. Um, see you next time. Should have an LP episode up pretty soon. See you.